Hello everyone, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot and this, the weekly love tarot reading for the air sign of Aquarius. And we are going to jump right into your reading. Move you up a little bit. Ace of Swords for you. Eight of Cups, wow, Chariot. And the Strength card. Some of you are dealing with a Leo or a Cancer or a Libra. Justice coming in for your person. The Six of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. So, temperance energy at the bottom of the deck. And, of course, that is Sagittarian energy. So, a um, lot of ma major arcana here represented Aquarius. Let's just jump right in. This is a love connection reading, so we're pulling cards for both of you. You're representing Eight of Sor Ace of Swords, uh, Swords this week, and your person is Justice. So, for you, brand new clarity coming in. Okay, huge clarity. Um, an understanding, a victory even, right? A vindication comes in for you this week. Your person, justice comes in for them. <clears throat> Listen, um, <laughs> feels like some karma is being meted out here, right? Uh, because when I look ahead at the eight, eight of cups here and six of pentacles and this five of, uh, six of wands and this five of pentacles here, I believe this may indeed be a bit of a breakup, or uh, as I say, some karma coming back in. Again, you come in with Ace of Swords this week. Aquarius, it feels very strongly like you are vindicated about something this week, um, about this connection. Now, I urge you to go check out the Toxic Love reading because I feel like I touched on this kind of theme in that reading for you this week. I'll link it uh, in the top right corner of this video. Yeah, three of wands coming in. More information has come into you. Star energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so more information has come into you and you've really sort of, uh, you found out some stuff that's really made some things clear. Your person. Well, they've been really cagey. You know, they've been sitting back. They've not been saying anything or making any moves or making any decisions. They've had sort of a plan all along sort of thing of what they wanted to accomplish. I'm not entirely sure that they accomplished it, right? Uh, as I say, there feels like there's some justice or some karma being balanced out here. Listen, uh, let's look ahead. <clears throat> when you see them, you're walking away. Eight of Cups, you see them, you're walking away. You're turning your back on them, you know? They see you and it's like, there's a victory here. Like they see that you're, they see you having a victory, right? They see you having, uh, like moving away with, uh, with a win here. <laughs> I don't know, Aquarius. Feels like, you know, something happened and you found out some stuff and you were like, oh, heck no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh-huh, King of Cups, a hangman energy. It could be that for quite some time you hung in there, right, with this individual knowing full well. Yeah, there you go. Knowing full well that things weren't all, you know, that great or things weren't kosher. Ace of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. So there's some treachery here over money, some deceit that has gone on here. Listen, um, there's some toxicity here, unfortunately, right? Uh, but... It's more to do with, <clears throat> you know, the toxic readings. I try to just really tap into toxic uh, connections with those readings. Check those out on my channel. This reading here, this is a love connection reading, and there was love here, but I feel like this is more of more to do with kind of like the residual of a breakup, right? You have been the one holding this relationship down, but at the same time, I think you were also kind of, you know, purposely being blind to some things. Hanged man energy. You know, I think it's it's... It feels like it's taken a long time for you to come to terms with the fact that you're fed up with this person. And now it's coming in now because there's actual proof information that has come to you that has opened up your eyes and brought in such clarity. Maybe before you were like, yeah, I feel, I feel the shadiness. I feel, you know, I'm, I'm unhappy here, 
but I'm not sure. Maybe it's me. You know, you weren't convinced, but now whatever happened. And again, it feels very much like it has something to do with either money or living situation, something really tangible. And there was uh, some deceit, right? They lied to you. And you found out about it. And I think you're like, okay, I found out about it. I've been sort of blind or I've been purposely ignoring the signs. But guess what? I'm not ignoring them anymore. And I'm stepping off. I'm moving away. I'm turning my back. Also, as a result of this, you, <clears throat> your person comes out really jacked up financially because whatever happened here with this deceit, it comes to light. And as a result of this breakup, they find themselves out in the cold. They find themselves broken. They find themselves out in the cold. Um, they find themselves sort of ostracized here. You know, you really turn your back on them. For some of you, it's like a case of throwing them out. You, however, resonate with chariot energy in this relationship. You've already decided uh, how to move forward. You're already planning your next life. So this is very much um, moving on. I feel like you've already broken up with them. I feel like the breakup has already happened, but this is like the last bits of it where it really kind of is doubled down on. You know, these are like the last bits of like, you know, get the rest of your stuff out the house or, you know, now that, you know, now finally it's time to sort of block and not speak. You know what I mean? It's like the really last lingering bits of it um, because you're well on your way now to sort of setting a whole new path, right, for yourself. Five of Swords, there's been a lot of arguing. They're really determined to still kind of keep going, but I don't think it works. Yeah, Five of Swords energy here. There's There's been a lot of arguing, and you're like, listen, I'm not even interested in that anymore. Like you, They may have tried to use a lot of uh, back and forth, uh, I want to say, toxic communication, maybe gaslighting, arguing, you know, projecting, all of that kind of toxic shit that goes on in these kind of arguments. They may have tried to use that uh, to keep you engaged, but you're not, you're like, nah, I don't even feel like it. I don't even feel like arguing with you. Okay, you're right. You let them win even. Let them, you know, it's almost like, okay, you win, you're right. You know, I'm this, I'm that, whatever. I'll be this and that on my own. I'm leaving, bye. That's how it really feels. Page of Cups energy comes in for you. Somebody else. Knight of Wands. They're determined. They're really, listen, again, some of you are going to be putting somebody out the house. Or it, it, the, the breakup of the relationship really messes them up in a very physical, financial way. They really suffer from it as a result. But they kind of get, listen, this is fully karma coming in for this deceit and treachery here. They still are determined, though. Knight of Wands, they have it in their head that they're going to get you back. I think it comes from a point of view, you know, it comes from a King of Cups, but a King of Cups in shadow. You know, the dark side of the King of Cups is very possessive and childish, very jealous. You know, he's going to play games with you just for the sake of getting you back, just for the sake of retribution. You know, you're dealing with somebody who already is kind of working from a low and low vibrational energy here with this deception. Um, they thought they could get away with it. They thought that if they were clever here and they didn't, you know, make certain moves that they could get away with it and they didn't. And so now they're very, you know, their ego is hurt. There's, you know, the dark side of King of Cups can also involve like just kind of um, revenge. You know, I'm going to get you back in some kind of way. But I feel like not in a physical way, not like dangerous like that, but <clears throat> trying to get you back in an emotional way. Maybe manipulate you, gaslight you, love bomb you, whatever. Trying to get you back in this emotional way so that they can then jack you up later on. Pull you back in or play mind games with you so that they can manipulate you and get you, you know, so they can hurt you ultimately. You're going to have to be exercising a lot of strength here. It's going to cause, yeah, you're going to need to be really strong. Leo energy is here, Aquarius. Some of you may have Leo in your chart. You're going to have to embody that kind of strength and dignity and pride and be like, yeah, I'm not falling for the games. Page of Cups comes in. For some of you, this person is going to try to give you a little, you know, they're going to try to do little things to get your attention back onto them, right? Watch out for that. Again, you're going to have to be strong in the face of that because whatever happened here, it's like they really deserve you stepping off of them. 
You know what I'm saying? Like you've put up for it for a long time. Okay. This was, you know, you hung in there. You literally hung in there for a long time. You gave it the benefit of the doubt. You're willing to sort of like just hang in there. Right. But enough is enough. And when you turn your back, you know, you're turning your back with wisdom. You're not doing it <clears throat> in a, uh, impulsive way. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're not doing it impulsively. Um, you're not sort of like just for the sake of like breaking up or being mad, you know, just break, you know, you've really thought about this. And so in this way, it does feel like, you know, this is something that's been a long time coming <clears throat> and they very much deserve it for this horrible behavior down here. It's just bad energy, golden egg and a stingray. Well, I'm going to come to the stingray first because this is water energy and talking about you know, growing a spine, you know, being strong, making sure you come first and your emotions come first, standing up for yourself, you know, and uh, standing up for, um, you know, what you deserve and the treatment that you deserve, right? Uh, so, just, you know, <clears throat> validating your own feelings, you know, your feelings are valid and uh, you don't have to put up with anybody who sort of I want to say here very much tried to sort of insult your intelligence. You know, lying is a way of trying to insult somebody's intelligence. Golden egg. Well, this is an ether animal spirit. So not fire, water, earth, or air, but ether, which is what most of the cosmos and the universe is comprised of. And golden egg is associated with the heart chakra. And so here we require a lot of warmth and nurturing. And I want to say this animal spirit is something you want to resonate with for sure with regard to yourself. You know, right now you do require Aquarius, a lot of warmth, understanding, um, because you've been through something here and, you know, you really do need to embody that self-confidence, you know, uh, that strength of courage, growing that spine, that, you know, that, that ability to stand up sh straight and demand your respect, right? Well, that comes out of love. That comes out of opening up your heart chakra for yourself, you know, for, for you, who you are. Oftentimes people call it even that inner child because it's, it's easier to love ourselves if we think of our inner child, right? Um, but it's us. It's our self, you know, it's who you are in essence and really being taken care of that. Um, <clears throat> these two cards fell out. Let me take them. Feminine spirit. Spirit of the Fae, and we have one more I want to pull. And Spirit of Envy, all right? So this is your person. Of course, you know, that enviousness. That's what I'm talking about, that shadow side of the King of Cups is, is envious, resentful, miserable. They mad, you know, because they lost. They mad because they lost, you know, and that's, that's the dark side of King of Cups energy. So you want to watch out for that. Feminine spirit coming in, right? Nurturing, receptive, intuitive, absolutely in line with the golden egg. This is exactly what I was just talking about. You know, really being nurturing to yourself, you know, digging deep, um, using your intuitive energies to, you know, see what you need, you know, what you require to heal. And then we have spirit of Tefe, mischief play, okay, fantasy. So take that as it comes to you and how it resonates for you. Because of course, these reasons are not going to resonate for everyone and they're not going to resonate for uh, those who it does resonate for all the same. It's going to be very different for each of you. But if it did, please uh, let us know, you know, sound off in the comments. Let the collective know, like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this reading, if it gave you something. Um, This is... um. An interesting time for an Aquarius to really put their foot down and say enough is enough and to really cut somebody who's very toxic in their life loose. Being prepared for them, of course, to come back with quite some envious actions. But I think as long as you remain strong and determined on your path forward, you're going to be all right here. And this is going to be very quickly a past relationship that just is not there as an obstacle in your life anymore. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much, Aquarius and Aquarius cross watchers. Um, I do wish you all love, life, and happiness, and I wish to see you all next week at your weekly love outlook or your toxic love outlook. I'm beginning to lose my voice, so it's time to turn in for the evening. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.